Okay, so today I'm going to take you through two blocks of workouts that I did to warm up and free up my range of motion so I can do the second block, which is more dynamic than muscle movement and helping me build up. So a concept that I tell my players, soccer players, is you're know, beating your bodies up out on the field. Athletes are always built, beating themselves up on the field, on the court, wherever they're out there. And so in the gym, we need to build ourselves up. So correct form and stacking is very important. And so these are some of the movements I've been doing. Move over here. So this concentrates on isolation of muscle and getting that full range of motion that I didn't have even a couple years ago. And obviously you wanna make sure you have a good anchor, but correct form, stacking, getting your hips under. So that's our first movement. Second movement doesn't look difficult but this allows me to get the range of motion on both my knees and my ankle because the next block of exercise is gonna need this. So I have a pretty heavy weight here and it's just a very simple movement here. And I'm getting that range of motion, putting pressure on my knees and getting that full range of motion in the ankle, but in the natural form. So you don't wanna go against the natural movement of your body. And then ironically, you're also getting the stretch in the hip flexors. And again, we want to keep the, t the uh, hips tucked underneath you. Do not back or arch your back. Next movement is a dynamic, slow, in control movement here. We're just moving here to, again, prepare for our next movement, set block, which is a dynamic, dynamic movement. So we're going to do those on each leg. And because I've been doing a lot of shoulder therapy, I'm gonna do the same thing now with my shoulders. So burpees allow me to get the warm, uh, warm up my shoulders in the range of motion and the movement that I'm already uh, strengthening without going overhead and injuring myself. So we're warming up the shoulders and then we go right into a push up. So that's my first block. Now that I've warmed up my knees, ankles, my back, shoulders, now I can go to the next block. And this cycle is more dynamic and muscle movement. So this has always been my best friend, but also worst enemy because if you hit your shins, you're gonna bleed. So when I do box jumps, box jumps, I always try to focus on jumping a little bit above the box and try to land in the center. Biggest focus here is not landing hard because when you land hard it's very difficult on the joints and on the hips so you want to tuck and engage your uh, core that's going to help you and then as soon as you jump focus on the landing. You want to act like this is a bed with an egg or a glass of wine on it. So we want to jump and light light landing. Again, we want to be kind to our joints in here because we're building up muscles. So when the soccer field, we're running, jumping, skipping, doing all the different things that our bodies are not really meant to do, our muscles will bring it back into alignment and, and in correct form because we're building the muscles correctly here. So box jumps, and then we go over here to landline uh, sumo squat. This again is on form. We want to make sure we're not arching our back because that's a lot of pressure on this lower back. We want to keep the hips tucked and chest up high. So we want to keep our legs out wide so we can get into that deep range of motion. Chest up, hips tucked under. Okay, and our last two movements. Again, the shoulder. We'll come out here. So with the shoulder, on this particular movement, some people do this and use your whole body. This one's for isolation. Again, from my shoulder injury here, I don't want too much movement because I can injure. So I'm going to isolate, engage core, not um, arch your back, but tuck your hips and make sure I have a good range of motion 
and I'm isolating the shoulder and I can actually focus on lifting with my shoulder, not using my back. And now that I have the full range of motion, this is going to incorporate both legs, knees, hips, and my shoulders. So I'm going to do a squat into a dumbbell press. Notice my legs are wide, so it allows me room to get underneath and get down low, and then push straight up. And I should not feel any pinching in my shoulder even with a torn labrum without surgery, if I'm doing this correctly. That's it, hope you enjoyed.